Hey guys, it's Becky, and I hope you're having a really great day today. Um, I have I picked up a few things from the mailbox, and when I was out running around yesterday, I wanted to kind of uh, share some of them, and then also do some organizing for another one of the uh, bundles that they put together at Beadbox Bargains. So we'll open this up in a minute and go through that. Um, but I also, they had like a real big, like deep discount sale at Beadbox Bargains too. And I got a few, I got a few beads with that. Um, so that was also in the mail. Um, I also picked up some Customer Appreciation Week kits. Um, Jill Wiseman Designs is my local bead shop. So I just drove over and picked up her kit for Customer Appreciation Week. And I'd already had uh, Cassandra's from Beads to Live By, but I stuck it here in this bag so that I've got them all together. And then I've got one from uh, the Bead Place that came in the mail yesterday. And uh, still waiting on the one from Joyce Trowbridge. Um, but I've also got the Customer Appreciation Week kit from Miele. I put like a whole spool in here with that from uh, Silver Silk. So we'll be ready for uh, Customer Appreciation Week next week. I missed out on the one from Danielle and the one from uh, Sam Siegel from the Sam Speed Shop. They sold out before I got a chance to get them, but that's okay because I'm just going to be enjoying it too. Um, and if you don't know what Customer Appreciation Week is, it's where a bunch of the small beady businesses kind of get together and they do like a whole week of classes. And the classes are available on YouTube or on Facebook. And they just show you how to make some stuff. They do these designs and it's sponsored by um, Softflex and Jesse James Beads it collaborates with them to put together a, a kit for their kit. Um, and I actually, I have the, the kit here. I'm not putting it on the video because they haven't revealed it yet, but I may put my organization video up after they do that tomorrow so that you guys can see all the things that are in that if you miss their reveal kit or their kit reveal day. Anyway, that's, that's, that's beyond the point because, um, those, those are some things that I picked up today, some kits for the upcoming beadingness that's going to happen this week. Um, but I also picked up, it's a, a little bit of a haul from, uh, Beadbox Bargains. That's the sister store for Bargain Beadbox. And mainly the reason that I even went and bought stuff on that was because, um, my friend Cindy had shown me when she got the uh, Woodland Whimsy Companion Bundle. Um, hers came with this really gorgeous um, carved leaf pendant that didn't come in mine because, you know, they ran out, so they made another one. And they had these available to purchase, and so I got one to add to my bundle or to do something else with when I did this. It's a really, really gorgeous carved leaf pendant. I think it's, I don't know, is it agate? I'm not sure. But it was, it was really, really pretty. And I wanted one too. Um, I think they are sold out now though. So, uh, sorry. But that was, that was something that came in one of the, one of the bundles that they did. Um, I also got some of these mahogany obsidian hearts because I love the look of the mahogany obsidian. I think it's gorgeous. Um, and I did, I think I used those in some mahogany obsidian rounds in my safari kit necklace that I made recently. If you want to see what I did with that. And then I got some of these owl beads, these check glass pressed owl beads. They are super tiny. So I got some of them because they had a big sale. Um, some of these things like the pendant and the obsidian, um, I could use my 30% off for. Um, some of them, the discount was already so deep that the 30% off coupon wouldn't apply, but it was like less than a dollar for a strand of beads. So it was a really good deal anyway. And then I got these little, I think it's four millimeter melon beads. Some, just some check glass stuff. I got these bead frames. 
with the cool swirls. I got a antique copper and silver. And then the beads that I got from their like super duper sale were a bunch of these gemstone beads. They had them in four, six, eight, and 10 millimeter. For these, and then I got these faceted gemstone beads, and then these check glass beads. I put these all together because I think they will go together. And then I got a bunch of this same type. These are all like the same type of bead where it's these, this glass that has uh, like two colors and kind of a spray. And so you get like this dreamy kind of look with it. And I got, some of them have uh, multiple colors or multiple sizes and some of them don't, but like I got multiple sizes for these. I think that one actually goes with that one. Multiple sizes for these. This one's off on its own, I think, but it's fine because they're, they're just going to be fun things to play with. And I got some of these fox shaped beads that I thought would go well with that and because i love mermaid glass and these were all like super super deep discount when i got them um don't know what i'm gonna do with them yet i'll get them put into a different organizer later but that was that was sort of part of my my bead box bargains haul uh i cannot be buying any more stuff for the next month at least because i got grown lady bills oh oh yeah and this one um Christmas is coming up. So red and green, super cheap, super good deal. And, uh, and that's what I got from them. That was one of the things that was in the mail that, um, that I got with these. Um, another thing too is, and this is one of the reasons why I appreciate like the collections that they put together and the bundles is because I suffer a lot from decision fatigue, where if there's a ton of things and options to choose from I get overwhelmed I'm like what do I get where do I buy that sort of thing so um with my Jill Wiseman kit I also grabbed some of her little um coordinated sets of super duos where she's got this one it's the tropical punch one where you've got like this dark teal a turquoise color this bright pink and this this Caribbean blue and then there's a Picasso one where you got just the dark colored Picasso and then some light Picasso super duos. Um, this one is their velvet matte super duos in these different colors. And she puts the these together and I love it because then I don't have to like decide what I want to get. Like I could put these together and they'll they'll be something. But here's here's the fun thing, and this is what I really love about it. She put together a Halloween one. So you've got like the bright orange and then you've got black and you've got this. It's another velvet matte one, this purple. But this was this was in my my package uh, that I got from Jill Wiseman too. But yeah, they they're local to me, so I can just go pick it up from their webs uh, from their warehouse. So they let me know when it's ready for pickup and then I can just drive over. Um, they don't have a storefront. So I, I buy online just like everybody, um, but it makes it easier because then they don't have to put it in the mail and the postman pick it up and take it to our shared post office and then it gets sent to the regional office and then back to that same post office and then to me instead I can just go pick it up. Anyway, it makes it convenient. And uh, and that's, that's, I think that was, that was my big spiel. But yeah, I really appreciate when bead companies put things together so that I don't have to make that decision myself because I, I got some of those beads because they were cheap, but I'm like, what, what are, what am, what are they going to go with? What am I going to put them with? And then I have to make those decisions. So <laughs> one of the reasons I love like the bead boxes, the subscription boxes is because somebody else has gone through the trouble of making those decisions for me. This goes with this, this will go with that. Um, and often they choose things that I might not have thought to buy. And then I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe these will go together. 
So what they've been doing recently at Beadbox Bargains is putting together bundles. And these bundles are not the subscription box and they're very limited amounts. So by the time I'm opening this, this bundle sold out. They've had like two other bundles between when I bought this and now um, that they've put together and that have sold out because they're limited amounts. Like they make like 30 of them or something. So when you see them, you, you might want to, to get them at that point. So this was the Autumn Topaz bundle, and I just folded that over so you can't see my um, address. And it was, you know, subtotal with the coupon. <laughs> it's twenty four dollars for this, which is perfect. It is a great amount to pay for a little bundle of some beads, and I love the look of it. I thought it looked great, so I'm gonna open this up. And I'm going to sort it into my handy dandy organizer, just like I did with the, the other bundle that I bought. Um, now, I have, as I said, grown lady bills, so I cannot buy every bundle, and I'm not gonna. I also don't want to be that guy who buys all the bundles up so that other people don't get a chance to get them. That's not me. But I did get this one, and I'm, I'm ready. Again, it was, uh, my, my friend Cindy told me that it was available, gave me a heads up, and so I grabbed it. And I think she did too. And hopefully we have the same contents. Let me know if that's, it's any different there, Cindy. All right. So let's go through, open this up and get this sorted. Ooh, I love that. There are more of these uh, small melon beads. All right, all right, all right. Let's, let's, let's get a little more organized, Bex. Now, some of you have asked if I um, just keep my beads in here indefinitely. If I use up a bead box and I only have like a few beads left in it, I'll empty it into my orphan bead um, canister and then reuse the box. Or if it's like halfway full and I've got another one that's halfway full, I'll just combine the two and stick them in my, my storage so that they're still kind of separated and organized, but not, um, not taking up as much space as they, they normally would. So let's go down the list with what was in this. The first one is six millimeter crystal English cut fasted round beads, crystal bronze peacock. So let's find some English cut beads. I believe that's what this one is. Yep. Crystal bronze peacock. And we're going to pull them out. We're going to look at them and then I am going to get them Oh, it's got the wire connector. I hate these. They always poke me and then it hurts. It's fine though. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right. I'm going to just use my little wire cutter. Cut this guy off at the end. Try not to poke myself. These are really pretty though. Oh no, there's another. Not there. Careful, don't hurt yourself on the wire. I just made up that song myself. Okay. No poking. <laughs> I'm doing good so far. Okay. Then we've got uh, eight by three check blast, check pressed glass, vintage rondell beads, crystal orange swirl travertine. That is, which one? Four, nine, four, nine, four, nine. That's what these ones are. And they, they remind me of belly button plants. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm calling them belly button beads. That's what it's it's going to be in my head. Belly button beads. So you've got some of those. And then 11 millimeter pressed glass rustic flower beads. That's these guys. I love these puffy flowers. This is like one of my favorite check glass shapes. 
I think they're great. I think we've got um, a different color of this check glass shape in the most recent Sam Speed box, but I think this would actually go really well with that. Where is it? I mean, let me just compare these and see. There it is, yeah. These ones were like pumpkin colored. This was the Sam Speed box from, from this last one. Uh, probably Monday is when I'm going to get my new Sam Speed box, but take a look at the color of this and the color of some of these. I think this would actually go well with this box. Maybe we'll do something with it. Maybe we'll not. Maybe I will get distracted by something new and shiny because that happens to me a lot. Look at all my shinies. Anyway, let's, let's move on. So we have the rustic flower beads. We have some six millimeter check fire polished glass facet round beans, crystal travertine. That's these ones. I always think of like tortoise shell color stuff when we've got these, the brown travertine kind of spots. But this is a really nice warm autumn -y color. I love, love, love that we've got this going on with, <laughs> with, our, with our, I mean, it's autumn topaz. This is, this, it fits the description. All right, so after we've got those, then we've got some pressed glass oval beads, ruby gold shimmer. That's these ones. Do you see the, the red behind with the light behind them? Ruby gold shimmer with these oval beads. You know what? These would be fantastic as links in a beaded chain, I think. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I'm, I'm on a roll with my beaded chain. I do have plans for my beaded chains for this week already worked out. Um, so this week I'm going to be doing a beaded chain with bead woven links. And I'm going to do that near the beginning of the week. I'm using some beads from the Beads to Live By Curated collection for that. Um, which I'll link to my, um, my unboxing for that in the description if you want to see what those beads are. Again, it's another reason why I appreciate like the subscription boxes is because then I don't have to pick things out. Um, so when when people put in the effort, I I really appreciate this. Okay, so now we've got our fluted melon beads, the four million, and this is Garnet Picasso. I don't know if you guys can see the red behind with the light behind that. Garnet red. And then Picasso finish. These are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You know what? I believe I've seen the um, some unboxings for the next bargain bead box. I don't have mine yet. It won't get here until tomorrow, so I can't unbox that. Um, but it looks to be really um, more like blues and grays oriented, not so much like the fall colors. So it's I'm glad we're getting more fall color with this bundle. Um, and then we'll get into the, the muted grays and things like that with the blues and grays with that, the next bundle and fun greens, blues, greens, and grays. That's what it, it, that's what it looks like to me from the unboxies I've seen, but we'll find out tomorrow, won't we? So we've got the melon beads. We've got some antique copper links. They're like flowery links, and it looks like these links have like four sides. So you could do some real fun things with these. Like you could have an earring hook up here and then have three different dangles from here and have this be part of an earring. Or you could do uh, some sort of design where you've got links between the links somehow <laughs> between them. Um, and do kind of a bib design with these, or you can just use them maybe in a beaded chain and have them be a decorative, decorative part of that. All right. Matte carnelian dyed heated round beads, eight millimeter. So 
here's where we get some more of the warm orangey colors into play. And this type of orange is my favorite again, where you get it's more of a fiery orange. And there are a lot of these guys. So I'm going to lay down one of the, the separators in order to get these guys all in here. Yeah, these are definitely fall foliage. All right, so now we've got some tiger eye randall beads right here. I love tiger eye. I think that probably one of the first um, beads that I fell in love with was um, like gemstone type of beads that I fell in love with was uh, rose quartz. But then the second one after that was definitely tiger eye. I love tiger eye so much. I don't know why I bothered undoing that since I'm just going to cut this. Now let's see if they'll all fit in the same container. If they don't, then we will lay down the thing from the next section. Why? Why are you two being like that? I don't understand it. Apparently... I am having some difficulties getting these into the places where they belong. I'll get to that later. It will be fine. Okay, and these will all fit in the same section. Perfect. And then we've got some pressed glass leaf beads. And these are this gorgeous, gorgeous yellow color. This reminds me of like citrine for that color. But the color name for this is Pale Topaz. So let's see if you guys will all fit in the same. Because this is a very long strand. There's a lot of these leaf beads. They will all fit. Yay! It's very full, though. Let me get that last one off of there. So what do you guys think? Fall foliage? Fall foliage. That's what we're looking at. Then we have some check glass pressed bicone beads. That's these ones. I think I like the pressed bicone beads a little bit more than I like the crystal bicones because while you get like a lot of sparkle with crystal bicones, they will also cut the crap out of your um, beading thread. And you can get some really gorgeous finishes. Let me get a little closer so you guys can see. So these are four millimeter bicones. What's the color? Coral and gold topaz. So it's this nice warm orangey red color with the gold topaz finish on it. I like that. I think they have more of these press glass uh, bicones in like different colors and stuff on their site right now. All right, and then we've got some O-ring beads. And this is crystal matte bronzed copper. Open this up and get these in here. Let's pull a couple of these guys out of the back of here. So it's glass, so there's a bit of static electricity in the uh, in the plastic. holding them in there but yeah these o-beads o-rings you can use these in bead weaving too 
they come in pretty handy. And then we've got some smoky quartz hammered brass leaf pendant, antique copper. So smoky quartz and hammered brass. Let's unbag this. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see right there we go. That's the light hitting it the right way. So the smoky quartz is sort of see-through and so you get the light bouncing off of the um, copper behind it when the light hits it a certain way. I like that. I think they still have some of these on their site too. Oh, I forgot to think about this. I'm going to lay it down on top of these guys. That's how it will fit in here. Loop. Yep. And then we've got leafy link branch, branch links. So it is a link. It's got a little loop at the bottom and at the top. These would be great. I actually think I have some of these in my stash too from another, um, Another time I went shopping on their site. And this was our freebie. They're just some, um, they look like snowflake links. Um, but this is the freebie from my other order. And I'm going to just stick it in here because it goes with everything that's in here. Really, really does. All right. So that is the let's see what's the name of it again autumn topaz bundle from beadbox bargains this is not the bargain beadbox subscription the bundles are limited amounts this has already sold out but this is what came in it well except for this <laughs> but this is what came in it and they'll probably be doing more bundles i think um it's turning into kind of a big hit they sell out super quick and um, i'm looking forward to what they what they put together next i probably won't be buying another bundle until next month because i like to eat and have a roof over my head but <laughs> it is still a pretty good deal and they put stuff together that will go together. And that's why I like when people do that for me so that I don't have to make that decision myself. Anyway, I hope you liked this um, organizing video and my unboxing um, haul going over what I got from them. I'll put links to the Beadbox Bargain site down there. If you subscribe to the Bargain Beadbox, you get 30% off usually. A lot of my haul things were in a sale where the it was already discounted so deeply like some of those strands were like 50 cents guys it was it was ridiculous um so usually when they do that they'll tell you that the 30 percent discount won't apply but otherwise it it applies most of the time to all of the other things that are on their site and um i hope you guys have a great weekend and look for some of my videos this coming week. We'll do some um, links. I'll do some organizing videos. And we'll just have a good time hanging out. Thanks for hanging. Bye.